Nick, what makes Greater Manchester such a good place to live and work? Well, I was born um, in the region and grew up in Greater Manchester, grew up in Eccles, and I've seen it develop over the years, and it got a, a real boost as it pulled itself together following the, um, the IRA bomb. I've always thought of it as uh, a sort of real second city to London. It's uh, a very vibrant area in which to live. Um, there's the countryside very close by. My sister, who is a, uh, a nationally reputed artist, lives in Glossop just on the, uh, on the outskirts. So I, uh, and uh, as, a, uh, as a child, I often used to go hiking around, around there. So a vibrant business environment, um, plenty of things for young people to do, and a very vibrant educational environment too. That's excellent. What do you think could, more could be done to assist business growth? To assist business growth, I think one key strand is to improve the business related skills of those coming out of education at different levels. Uh, education does need to expand the mind and to increase the civilization of the nation. But equally, if we're to earn our living in an increasingly competitive international environment, people have to be properly skilled for the workplace. And that's just not making presentations. It's also the nuts and bolts of numeracy, literacy, and essential skills that the workplace needs. Excellent. As um, an expert in public sector um, uh, organisations, we are very much at the dawn of a new era with the RDAs having been effectively winding down and the, the new local enterprise partnerships coming to life. Um, are you heartened by them or do you, f do you feel that almost inherently they're, they're doomed not to succeed because they just don't have any money? Well, it's horses for courses um, and Greater Manchester has got its act together very well with, with AGMA. Uh, the authorities all pull together. They've got a very talented board um, and a good line to strategic people in government. I think they will provide talent and strategic leadership and they've already been successful in accessing round one of the regional growth fund. I'm sure that it will be successful equally in round two. Sure, there is uh, very little public money around but as a strategic um, enabler I think the LEP is extremely well positioned particularly in this region.